Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm your host, Brian Sturrock, and today we're going to learn about the fourth grade book of American Textbook Reading Science. And of course, we're going to start with lesson one. Lesson one is grouping plants. Now, do you know what does grouping plants mean? Well, you know what grouping is, right? Grouping means if there's something white, you group it into a pile of white toys. Then you group it into a pile of red toys, you group it into a pile of blue toys, gray toys, black toys, and a bunch of other. Even gold toys, and white, red, um, gray toys, and lots of others. But today, we're going to learn about grouping plants, not grouping toys. Now, when you hear the word grouping plants, do you know what? Well, we're going to learn about plants today. But we're going to actually learn about grouping them. We actually learned about plants in book one, book two, and book three. We learned about the plant parts. But now we're going to learn about grouping plants. And are you ready to learn about grouping plants? Well, let's get started. The first word, so as you know, every day when we learn about American textbook reading, we always start it off with the vocabulary section. Now, are you ready to learn about the vocabulary section? Well, let's get started. Let's get you raising and writing. Now, the first word is flowery plant. I'll raise it. And could you say it just like me? Flowering plants. Not flower. Not flowering plant. But flowering plant. Flow. Flow. It's a short O. Oh. Flowering, flowering, flowering plant, flowering plant. Now, what is a flowering plant? Well, a flowering plant is a plant that we use that we have flowers on that plant. Could you see? On a flowering plant, we'll have a plant that has flowers on it, and on the flowering plant. We'll mainly be learning about a plant with flowers. A flowering plant is like a tulip. Now, a tulip. A tulip is a type of flowering plant. It has a flower, the tulip flower. There's a stem, the leaves, and a pot. That's why it is called a flowering plant. Now, what about the next word? You can note the word flowering plant that and use the eraser and erase it off your chart. Now, are you ready to learn about the next word? I'm going to erase some bits of this word and see if you can guess. Oh, baby. Oh, no, thing. Now, not that, not mine, but it will be conifer. Conifer. Now, what does conifer? What is a conifer? Well, a conifer is basically a tree with nuts and acorns. Now, can you name some conifer trees? Well, some people might say they're acorns and pine trees. Yes, but they're not in redwood trees. Now, now, that is conifer. Now, what about moss? Now, what is moss? Well, moss is basically a green plant that sits and grows in lots of water. Now, when I was born in Western California, they had this thing, they had this a really good speech about um, the, this really interesting thing. Do you know what they said? Well, they said, Moss will grow at the north part of 
the of the tree. If you want to know where north is, you can start from the tree. Look around the tree if you could see any green plants and if you could see any water. If you don't, you can go along in front of the tree, go along in one place, one place and go duck, 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 and to finally you find the moss. And the moss, where you're headed, when you're at the moss, you don't know where the tree is, you can go, go, go back to the tree, go, go back to the moss. Just like that. That's where north is. When you want to know where north is, you want to know where west is, you want to know where east is, you want to know where north is, you want to know where south is, you must do this. When you are in Western California, you must think of this. When you see a tree, which is, which is actually a tree that is a conifer tree, look around. If you could see a moss, with the, the place that you could see the moss is north. And when you go back to the tree and go the second way, right directly not at the moss, then it will be east, going here west, going here south. And that's how you could figure out where north, east, west, and south are. Let me rain sweep. Now we have word four, word five, word six, and word seven. Now, what a, what is fern? Well, fern is a very small plant. Okay, everybody, fern is a very small plant. It's super duper small. And when we learn about fern. Fern is actually something that actually grows beside the tree, on the west of the tree. If you want to know where west is, you can head until you find the fern. The fern is also like the moss. The fern grows in less water than the moss, and it grows in human, humus, humid, cold air. And <clears throat> When you play hide and seek, you can hide in fern. Or if fern is too, the fern is too small, then you can climb up a tree as hidden as a tree frog, waiting for the male deliverer to arrive. Now, what about the spore? What is a spore? Well, do you know about seeds? Well, when you cut over an apple, you see the black prickly things. And that, those are seeds. You don't want to bite them to the seeds. But the, the, the plants like fern and moss, usually they're plants. They have seeds, but they do not have seeds. Instead, their seeds are called spore. This word called spore. Now, spore is a type of seed. When there is more, you'll actually make sure that it is spelled correctly. S P O O R. No, it's spore. But this is spore. E. E is what makes the long vowel sound. E is what makes the long vowel sound. Right, everybody? E is what makes the long vowel sound. If this is spar. If you don't put the E here, then it will be spar, not spore. Okay, everybody? If you if you don't if you don't have E in it, it will turn into spar, not spore. Now, give the word spore. That's what spore smells like. S P O R E. There. Now when we learn about these things, we actually have a really good thing to study about. Do you know what it is? Well, when we learn about these words, we actually have a lot of fun. This is word six. Now, what does word six is? Well, word six is the word contain. Now, when we learn about contain, what do you think? 
do you think of containing something like I have um, like I have a bottle and then inside the bottle there's water yes but we can also have a box containing Lego or we can have a box containing a TV or we can have a, a pot containing seeds just like that we can use a pot containing seeds we can use and show you everything that we have to contain seeds. Now, when we learn about these amazing things, what do you think? Well, when you learn about this, you've got to make a bet. Now, when you have contained, does it just mean to drop something, drop something into a box and then the box is containing it? Yes, it does. And when the box is containing it, you'll actually have a lot of fun thinking what it is. Close your eyes, thinking what it is. Hmm, what is it? Ah, it's an astronaut. Just like that, you'll reach there and peek out and out. No one will see. Now, when you learn about it, you'll actually have something to learn about. Now, when we learn the word contain, we actually have a really good thing to study about. Do you know what it is? Well, when we learn about the word contain, we'll actually learn about here, maple. Now, what does a maple mean? Well, as you can see, maple is like a maple tree. When we learn about a maple tree, what do you guess? Well, in a maple tree, the leaves are like wings of a bird. You get a dead bird and poke the and poke the leaves in it and looks like it. And you throw it like a paper airplane, you can fly. Hoo, 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 hoo. A bird with maple leaves as wings. Now, when you learn about maple, you actually something else to do. When you learn about maple, the first thing you're gonna do is that. You're going to learn what a maple tree is and what it will do in the fall. Well, in a maple tree, maple leaves would turn red, red, brown, or yellow in the fall season, or even orange. Now, could you see, when we learn about maple, there's a secret. Even though it's maple, maple trees are really famous for one thing. Do you know what it is? Well, maple trees are famous for making syrup. This the giant juicy thing that you put on top of your, your that you put on top of your own. You could see. You could also put on top of your pancakes. Maples, you can turn them into syrup and put it on your pancakes. So you see, when we learn about this vocabulary section, we'll have a lot to learn about in the next section. Now I'm going to show you a 10 second break and we'll go back. Now, here's, Miss, here's Mr. Pennier because I have a pen on my ear, just like that. Well, I'll put a marker on my ear instead because today I'm not really using a pen to write on the board. Now, are you ready to learn about the amazing things about the most goodest thing in the world? So grouping plants. Well, we could group plants with flowers and by stems. Now, I don't need the whiteboard. I only need my mind map. Now, in my mind map, could you see what? We have grouping plants. Could you see? When we have this mind map, we have a grouping plants. Now, when we group plants, what do we learn about? Now, when we group plants, we'll actually learn about grouping plants by flowers and by stems. Now, by flowers, we have conifers. Conifers, conifers can grow corns, and inside the corns, there are seeds. So you can see, in conifers, We'll have cones, and then inside that, we'll have seeds. Now, do you know what does conifer mean now? Conifer is basically a tree with acorns or pine nuts. It's basically a tree with 
with acorns and pine nuts. Okay, everybody. It's basically a tree with acorns and pine nuts. And then the pine nuts or acorns will just drop down. Now, and then other squirrels or other animals will fly down and then get the food. Now, you see, when we learn about these things, we mainly learn about science. Now, when we learn about these amazing things, I hope you enjoy yourself being my student. Are you ready to learn about the, the, the visual summary? Well, let's get started. Grouping plants. We can group plants by flowers and by stems. We have conifers, we have ferns, and we have flowering plants. But we learn about these things we mainly learn about plants. And today's plant lesson is all about grouping plants. And when we group the plants, we'll actually have everything to do with painting. Now, when you learn about grouping plants, how about you check out our email and see that we have other videos about plants. Now, are you ready to learn about the next word? Is fern. 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 Fern is a big type of plant, okay everybody? Fern is actually a big plant, but now I don't need my marker, okay everybody? I don't need my marker to write on the board, because now I'm saying with my mind map. Now, when you look at my mind map, could you see? On my mind map, we have grouping plants, and when we learn about it, we'll actually have the word fern. Now, what is fern? Do you know what is fern? Well, fern is like a plant. It grows in humid and hot water. And it's like the opposite of moss. Moss grows in humid but cold weather. And fern grows in humid but hot weather. Now, when we learn about it, we'll actually have a word called flowering plant. Flowering plant. What is a flowering plant? Do you know? Well, a flowering plant is a plant that has flowers. Just like a tulip. A tulip is a flowering plant. And that's a tulip, okay everybody? A tulip is a flowering plant. Now, when we learn about flowering plants, we have this really important thing that we need to learn about. You know what it is? Well, when we learn about the the the, the type of the type of flowering plants the flowering plants is like a plant that has flowers and finally in, in grouping plants by flowers we'll have conifers now what are conifers well when they have conifers when they have conifers will actually be really happy now when we have carnivores, we can't eat carnivores. And what animals can get rid of carnivores? As you know, squirrels. And squirrels, how do they get rid of carnivore plants? Well, as you could see, squirrels like to eat acorns. So they may steal the acorns out of your Christmas tree and eat them. Gobble, 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 smack, gobble, smack, gobble, smack, until they find a seed. Then the up, up, gobble, smack, gobble, smack, until they eat up the seeds. That's why we should keep animals such as squirrels and also other type of animals that, that eat the eat carnivore plants, carnivore fruit, and carnivore seeds. Safe. Do not kill them very much. God, we don't have anything to do with carnivores. The only thing that we do with carnivore plants and carnivore fruit and carnivore seeds is make them for our Christmas decorations. Now, when we learn about this, make sure that you don't mess out grouping plants by stems. Now, when we group plants by stems, what do we have? This is actually the close-up look. The close-up look by point by stem. Now, this is the first one, a tree. The main stem of the tree is the trunk. When an apple tree starts growing, it has a stem. 
The stamp is really good to break, but after a few years and it's turned into a sapling instead of a seedling, it grows bark. And we have to use a chainsaw to cut open it. And finally, it turns into a fully grown tree. And when we have this fully grown tree, we can have fruit. After the fruit, we have seeds and the life cycle of the apple tree starts again. Now, the tree. The main stem of the tree is the trunk. But when the tree is still small, that's a stem and you can just use a hammer. Boom, 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 boom. Cut down all the leaves. Blah, 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 blah. You excuse someone for doing it. Now, what about tulips? Now, actually, tulips have a soft stem. As you could see, tulips have a soft stem. And on this soft stem, the real stem is really soft. Now, when you see in a tulip, you can see this tulip as a flower, a pink flower. So it is much likely a flower-like plant. Now, finally, we have the cactus. Now, the cactus. When we learn about the cactus, it has a thick stem and it stores water. Now, inside this cactus's thick stem, we have water. And finally, we have a bush. Now, when we learn about a bush, what do we have? Do you know? Well, when a bush will actually have something called spines. When we're working in a bush, you get all prickly, right everybody? Well, in the bush, we finally see that it has woody stems. Or you could say woolly stems. Some people often mix up woody as woolly. So some people say, hey, look at this woolly bush. And another person would say, no, it has woody stems or wooden stems. So it couldn't be called woolly bush. Then, finally, we have wooden. Now, woody and wooden. Do you have a mistake between them? No. Woody is like it's totally made out of wood. Just like that. That's a really good word for wooden. Wooden is some parts only made out of wood. Like a table. This table, the top of the table, is only made out of wood. And the rest is made out of pla the hardest plastic in the world and metal. and paper, and plastic. So, you see, when we learn about these amazing things and grouping plans, make sure that you subscribe and comment below and keep track of every, every book or video that I have. Now we're gonna take a short break and come back to do the speaking section. Or you could say the reading section if you have your book. But, as you know, do not have your book because it's called cheating. But, now, are you ready to move on with the speaking section? Well, let's get started. Hello again, everybody. Now we're going to do the speaking section. In this speaking section, we mainly talk about grouping plans. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are two groups of plans. The first group is the group that has seeds, but the second group doesn't. In the group of plants, we mainly, we mainly group them into by flowers and stems. In, in the flower grouping part, we have conifers. Conifers are plants that have pine nuts or acorns. Some animals, such as the squirrel, like to eat conifer, conifer fruit. The next one by, by the flowers is the flowering plant. In the flowering plant, the flowering plant is mainly a plant that has flowers. And we have the fern. What is the fern? Well, eventually, the fern is a black stem. And this black stem is actually used for making plants. And in a fern, we have leaves. Sometimes when you play hide and seek, you can hide in a fern. Now we have the stem. 
stem grouping part. The first thing in the stem grouping part is the cactus. The cactus is a very spiky, a very spiky plant. It has thick stems and it has it stores water. Next we have a tree. A tree's main stem is a trunk. And inside the trunk is the normal stem. Then we have a tulip. A tulip has a soft stem. You can rip out a tulip from a garden and then give it to your girlfriend or maybe your mom. She may appreciate it, but do not, but please worry about where you take your tulips from, not from your mom's garden. Then we have the bush. The bush is one of the biggest hairy types of trees in the world. The bush is mainly a big leafy ball and actually has a big leafy button. Now, you see, when we look about this, mainly talk about hair. When you have it, make sure that you have where you have it. Now, we have finished the, the reading section. Now, are you ready for the reading section questions? We have four questions. Now, do you know what is question one? Well, question one is a little bit too complicated. I'm sure you could answer it because question one is one of the easiest questions in this part. Now, when we learn about it, make sure to download it in the comments below. Now, if you like my video about grouping plants and other stuff that we really like, make sure to to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for more Tommy American textbook reading channels. So, bye bye!